What's up everyone, Karu here, and this is the match everyone's been waiting for. Me versus Winston, this guy is like decked out in, in ASICs now, look at this, A6 like looking tennis. crazy professional. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing with the saber. He's gonna be playing with his bab. Bab a lot. Um, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, we got some shade here, so it might be a little bit tougher for me, but I think I'm gonna be able to take, take him out. What do you think? I think if I play decently, I got this. <laughs> All right, write down in the comments below what do you guys think. And without further ado, let's go at it. Great voice.
It's a quick break to thank today's video sponsor, Duracell. Everyone knows Duracell batteries, right? Well, they got bigger and better. This is the Duracell Portable Charging Hub M150, and this thing is awesome. The M150 charger is packed with features and functionality that is extremely helpful on and off the court. As you guys know, I really like filming myself playing tennis. It's a great way to work on my game, see what I'm doing wrong, work on my technique. Um, but let's be real, most devices that we use to record won't last a full practice session, which is very annoying. But the M150 gives me the ability to record all my practice sessions without worrying that the battery on my devices is going to die. The tiltable charging lid not only juices up my phone, but acts as a third hand. I can use it to hold my phone in place so I can get some better angles while I'm filming myself train. Other features include a charging dock, so I know the unit is always charged, and also some nice cord storage so I don't have to worry about cord clutter. If you want to try, scan the QR code here in the screen or click the link in the description and get powered anywhere, anytime with Duracell Portable Charging Hub M150. Now you'll actually be able to record all of your practice sessions to make sure your footwork is getting better. You're not lazy out there. Get yours now. Scan the QR code or link in the description. Thanks Duracell for sponsoring this video.
All right, guys, I remain undefeated with the Sabre. I beat uh, Winston this time, but he made me work for it. It was actually pretty tough. Um, any thoughts, Winston? I want to hear from you first. Super tough. Uh, like you were saying earlier, I think I was doing more of the running, even though I have the more powerful, bigger racket. So I think that comes down to your footwork, uh, court knowledge, oh and God. ball placement, all yeah. that. So I was just trying to hit some cross courts and I don't know, hope for some errors, but yeah. you were running me so much, I could barely, <laughs> could barely stay alive. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's, uh, this set is kind of like a good, it's a good visual for people that like are constantly trying to get more power. Um, but I think I personally believe that placement for most levels, obviously once you reach a super high level, you need a lot of power, but for most levels, if you can place the ball well and make the guy run more, um, you're gonna be in a good position. I think sometimes he made me run and he won the point. But if you look at the set, for the most part, I was making him run. I was in control, even though I was even trying to go for winners because it's very hard to hit the ball too hard with this. But I could place it well enough where he's doing the bulk of the running. So um, I actually I thought I served pretty good for, for what it is with this. Yeah. Um, good enough. But Winston like, is playing. Really attack it too much. Yeah. But Winston's playing some good ball, man. Like he's moving, he's moving better. Um, yeah. I, I, I knew I was going to get him early because he was going to be a little tight. I knew, I knew there was going to yeah, be an early sort of 2-0, but he was going to find it. And he started like getting a little bit more, more pace on it. You're right. You got up to a quick start. Yeah. Zero. I was a little tight. Yeah. And not swinging out as much. And I think I, I got a little better um, further on. I was loose and yeah. ripping yeah. it a lot better. No, he's hitting on. the backhand well. He's in the forehand well. We got to we gotta do some lessons together again. But um, but yeah, we I thought this was really fun. Remain undefeated. Who should be my next my next target? Or, or... Should we give like Winston like about like a month now? Now that he kind of knows how I play with the with the saber, I'll go play some tournaments when I come back. Uh, I think probably we do a married rematch. man. I come in, I come in hot. I yeah, come in warmed up. Come in hot. Come yeah. in warmed up. Get a quick two zero lead and just yeah. ride it. I mean, it's tough if he plays very heavy. When you play very heavy, uh, it, it, it makes it tricky to hit with this. So I think if I give him a little little bit to work on and know now you know what you're getting. Yeah. Maybe we'll do part two. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see part two. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I got to go play a lot of events in a row now. I might go back to South America. Shout out South Americans. And Winston's been crushing, so go follow his channel. Uh, it's growing. Channel, yeah, let's get him to 100,000. What are you at? 80? 80, 85. 85. Jeez, this guy. <laughs> um, he's growing fast, so let's get him to 100,000. Really appreciate uh, the time. Thanks, uh, man. Thanks, man. And I'll see you next time. Yep. See you guys on the next one. Bump me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>